Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more Knights of the Old Republic 2. We're on board the Ravager with Mandalorian Vistus. I'm ready to blow this thing up. First, we're going to have to kill all these Sith, though, because they're scumbags. If I could get... There we go. Got a nice Force Enlightenment, because it does nothing but give me Force Speed, because I don't... I haven't put any powers in, or any, uh... Yeah, I haven't got any other powers, because it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, at this point, I don't want to talk to you. At this point, there's not really a reason to be looting people anymore. Besides, I just want to see what I can get. Another Zaboka? Okay. It's a really good sword. Oh, what's up, Sith Lieutenant? And, uh, and buy everybody on board. <laughs> Except for that guy who I guess I wasn't hitting. There we go. So what we need to do is we need to both defeat... This is his master, for some reason. Because our other thing is to blow up the ship, and I guess we're not allowed to blow it up if he's still on board. Don't really know why, but, uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, more persuade. Why not? I don't know that we even need much more persuade anymore. Uh... I don't even know. We could get... this one. Yeah. We'll get Force Aura, because it'll stack into Force Enlightenment. Yeah. In addition, next time we can also pick up uh, Valor, and it'll also stack. That's not a door we can go through. This is the Missile Bay. Remember this place? Because that last cutscene we saw said that the Proton Cores that we need to go plant I made a signal that matches those from the missile bay. So it's a good thing we found that. I think this is a target site. Nope, there's one on the other side then. Huh. Why? Shh, don't mind me, Mr. Sith. I need to come into your barracks and kill your friends here. Not fight you yet. And steal your stuff. <laughs> Very nice. My life. I don't want to talk to Vistus. Leave me alone. Stop getting close. They are all drunk. Mandalord, he's ready to fight, but... There's my force leap. Oh my gosh. Really, I wanted to jump at this guy. <laughs> nice broken animation. There we go. So now we're going to head back this way, but take a left. My skill is too low to get in there. Are you joking me? There we go. Just use a little spike. We'll get in there. Another Zabrak blaster. This is also not a target. What is going on? Did I miss a room in here? What is oh, this is just a whole other portion that I guess I missed. Where am I? Huh. It's been so long since I played this late into the game. I forgot that it branches backwards. Here's one of the target sites. You've reached one of the target sites. Place the proton core. Prime it. Then give the signal, Mandalore. Set a proton core. Mouse doesn't seem to be working. Arming signal received, man. We still need to set. Mandalore, we're holding our position, but the Sith appear to be... Maybe an ambush. Okay, yeah. For some reason... My life. No, it's working. I was just holding down left and right to move. This is a pretty cool view, though. Get to look out through this whole breach and see Telos and the whole battle going on. From here, we'll just murder a couple commandos. We give a crap ton of XP. Hopefully we can get another level here. We'll level up probably two two or three more times before the end of the game. If I had to guess. As long as we make sure to kill everybody. That immortality belt. No. I don't want him to lose any attack modifiers like that. I spent some time beefing up Mandalore. Because he had way too much dexterity he can't make use of because of his heavy armor. 
So he now has insane constitution and a couple of immunities. I just beefed him up, beefed him up, made him a tank now. How much health does this guy even have? 560. It's like way more than- wait, no, I didn't want to use that. Ah, uh, whatever. If I couldn't get into the door, I may not have been able to even open that thing. Just leap our way down this hallway. Sick double bladed you pulled out, dude. Fortunately for you, we did not save you. Yeah, just more grenades, another prototype shield. Which is good, but there's... Okay, I just want to be able to move! Oh, I missed this. <laughs> Another Nomi's robe. Nice. I don't know why she left her robe on a Sith ship. But you know what? Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge with my two additional Nomi's robes plus the Disciple has one and three Thon's robes? Jeez. Oh, come on. Do I have... Does Vistas have security? Whatever. It, who cares? Just cut it open. At this point in the game, the like little bit of XP I'm losing is not worth the effort. Nothing in here. You'd think there'd be people in there because it's like a dormitory, but I think this is another target site. Yeah. One of the target sites. Arming signal received, Mandalore. The proton core. Two more sites are left. We've lost contact with. The Sith are pushing him back. Whatever. So now we gotta go up and around, and then there's one here and here, I believe. Like, this is a hallway that would connect, and so is this one. And I think this side has one that looks like this one. Like, it has a hole in it. Big hole breach. Also, wouldn't you feel super safe being one of these people standing here? And, hold on, once I kill them. Just standing here and then just looking up and it's just, you know, space. Like, I know they said the particle field is maintaining an atmosphere, but, like, I would not be feeling safe looking up and just seeing the empty void of space on a big capital ship like this. No thanks. Ooh, this will be a fun one. Okay. Nice for storm, Vistus. Holy... I was just gonna try and leap my way across the room, but you just just killed them all. Uh, if you don't remember from last time, this ship was from Malakor. Uh, it fought in the battle. Reach one, Reach one of the target sites. Arming signal received. And the uh, yeah, we get this little cutscene first. Boom. What the hell was that? I told you to wait! Mandalore, we've made contact with the enemy, and one of the cores has detonated prematurely. Was it no. in the target zone? No, Mandalore. We have failed you. I offer you my... Do we have another core? No, Mandalore. <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> We're busy. Even two cores set in the ship, it will not be sufficient to destroy the vessel. We need to find another proton core, or we need to make one. All right, and don't kill yourself before- <laughs> So he says, or make one. I don't think you can make one. I mean, there is a workbench, but I don't think that works. I guess we could- Nah, I, I, I'm not gonna experiment with it. It's not- It's not worth trying to figure out why they say, or make one. Because I know where one is. Come into the missile bay control. Seal the doors, activate the launch sequence, override the emergency. Missiles are now primed to launch. So we take the Parathon core out of the missile. There we go. Simple as that. Also, I would like to first up take my crystal out so I can upgrade it. And I want to upgrade um, Mandalore's gun to... Where's that? Here we go. Mandalorian heavy repeater. This thing's a 3 to 24 base versus a 3 to 14. Sure, this has a low stun modifier, but it's too late in the game for that to matter. 
Especially when we can just put this one on that has a better stun chance. And oh my god, 10 to 59. <laughs> that is stupid. There we go. Go ahead and upgrade my crystal. Put the thing back in. Glows brilliantly. Get the stats on this thing. Two attack, four dex, four strength, five wisdom. This lightsaber makes me smarter. And before I forget, we'll go ahead and give you your new gun. Looks like a gun from the old game. So we got the proton core. We can just go to the last target site now. Simple as that. I don't want to tell you how long it took me to find out how to do that the first time I played this game. I was running around the entire ship. I had done everything I could. And I was like, I, it's just not here. I don't get it. Where do we go? So now I'm going to come back in here. And we're just going to continue our path. No one to kill in here, but there is a locker with a single life support pack that I won't use. Goes for his. Ah, right. This is Vistus's room. This door leads to my cell. I had forgotten. Is there anything you need? Time I would like to center myself. Do what you feel you need to do. If you remember, this is where we first saw her in that one cutscene. Back on Telos, probably. Past the surface, there is the Force. Where once there was a world that was strong in the Force, now there is a barren wasteland. It's okay. It has taken time for me to return here. I lost my way, but I've been stronger for the journey. What happens now shall not be done out of hate or revenge, but for the sake of all life. And I ask you finally to forgive me. This body is a prison no longer. No longer. Vistas has come to terms with the death of her world and calmed the hatred within herself. This has given her a stronger connection to the Force and a bonus to her Force points. So now she's just a better Jedi, and I can't break into here. Vistas, I'm stealing your crap. It's mine now. I don't know why you had Zabrak Field Armor. We can go check out her cell. There's nothing to do in it. I don't know why this terminal's angled. That looks stupid. Does she even have a bed, or is that just that room that we broke into? But yeah, there's nothing to do in here. It's just kind of cool. Cool that we actually get to see that place that we saw earlier. Yeah, that's her bed. The sink with a mirror that doesn't reflect anything. Not that it matters, because she's blind. <laughs> Alright, good job. Bad guy in charge of the ship, who I don't know if his name has been revealed yet. But who cares? I'll reveal it. It's Dark Nihilus. We're going to find out in, like, five minutes anyways. So this just leads back to that big main area, and by that big main area, it's through that door. There we go, we'll keep moving again. It, the leader, the, the, the leader, the master of the ship. Oh look, Have you come it's the dumbass Tobin. To kill me, the final insult. Stripping Onderon, my soldiers, my home from me, only to have me die here. You made your choice, Tobin. You are right, the choice was mine and you knew what Did I? happened to me stand aside or help me there is nothing to be done except wait if you go to him he will destroy you and your last moment shall be of shadow and pain if you would save Onderon then listen to me once he destroys Telos then Onderon will be among the worlds he destroys next Onderon there's no longer any need. He's touched Onderon, he will come back for it. You are right. As long as he exists, Onderon is yeah. in danger. The galaxy is in danger. Yeah. What would you have me do? <laughs> I need someone to set up the proton cores when we give no the signal. to the target site. Colonel, I'll let my men know you're coming. <laughs> and if you try anything stupid, they'll shoot you dead. 
I will do as you ask. For Onderon's sake. Thanks, Tobin. You're a real pal. Such acts have their own <laughs> Shut up, Vissus. We're past all this influence nonsense. We're at the end of the game. It doesn't matter anymore. Sucks such acts. They have their own strength. Oh yeah, this one's weird. This target site here. Never mind. I was expecting to see Telos out there. Seems as though they were smart enough to not. I guess it is just one big skybox. The proton core. That's the last of. We still have to kill the master of the ship. I don't get that. Would he not die when the whole thing blows up in a massive fiery explosion? Like I know he's a thing, and he's very powerful, but it doesn't make sense that he wouldn't die from this whole ship exploding. How did you live? I guess he got a saving throw. That's not cool. Mental boost implant. Can't discharge it. Oh yeah, concussion grenades. I'm gonna throw one of those at Nihilus. It's gonna be awesome. I just don't get why he wouldn't die if we blew up all the proton cores in the ship. This is empty. Nice. And it refilled as soon as I opened it. Uh, I forgot about the glitchy locker. Just, yeah, shock them all. Oh. The buddies all got levels. Sure. Go ahead and level them up. Your skills for Mandalore? Great. Powers for you, huh? Give me battle meditation. Maybe I'll use that during fights. Or set to, oh, you're not even set to Jedi support. There you go. Use your force powers. That's battle meditation. That's not what I wanted, but whatever. Just cut the door. I don't care. Can I move now? There we go. Just taking a while. For repeat droid disintegrator. Too bad we already went to the HK factory. Which feels like it should take place after or midway through this, right? Like, I, I, I don't know. Because when we were, when we arrived on Citadel Station, Atten was like, yeah, where did Beodur and HK go off to? But like, I don't know. It doesn't make that much sense that it happens. It, it would happen concurrently with this, I guess, but it's not really a good way to do that. I mean, I guess it's the same thing they did on Duxin. Oh, hello, Dark Jedi. Oh my god. If I hadn't missed and I'd done a flurry against this guy, I would have one-hit him, too. Get out of the way, Vissus. Oh my god. Keep getting in the way of all my jumps. You're not even doing enough damage to kill these people. Leave it to me. I am the strong one here. I'll do all the killing that needs to be done. Like this. Like even basic attacks for killing these Jedi in one hit. Come on. Get out of my way, Vissus. You do nothing. In here, there's just some lockers. Because we need more loot, after all. Yeah, we need those 12 components. I think, actually... No, there is still a workbench at, like, the very end of the game. I forgot. Have I even... Hold on. The health package? Get that for wisdom and charisma. Sure. I don't really care to change anything else. We got, like, this... I don't know... Room. This door leads to the bridge and my former man. I'm ready. Let's end this. We get this cool long hallway. There's the nihilist slaves down there. We can't even talk to. But they're like, oh, our mind is broken. We don't know anything. Darth Nihilus, your time is at an end. Cheaty. He's cheating. Lie, I have come to be your opponent. No, don't do this. He will... 
Surely you know I am unique. I could teach you to use the force in ways you've in ways never seen in the galaxy. <laughs> Fool! I've existed without the force for decades. Now it ends. Hold on, I wanna I wanna use all my powers and get nice and beefed up for this fight. Give me a good little battle meditation. A weakness is revealed. Hey Vibisus, how about you use a nice couple force heals? What? Come on, don't choke me, you jerk. And we beat him. Well, we beat the first. Uh, obviously, that's not it, because it's a cutscene now. That was a cool thing. He is too powerful. He... So here's an interesting thing that you can do if you have Force Breach. Because she is his connection to like life at this point so if you use force breach you cut Vistus off from the force thereby cutting his link to the force and killing Vistus in the process or you can just kill Vistus or you can be a good guy and tell her to get up bro chill out let me just let me just fight you in all my power. And he's just spamming force uh, drain on everybody. Because he's a jerk. But doesn't matter. He sucks. Oh, just like that, he dies. Next time, learn to use your words, dummy. Don't just go. What the hell are you doing up there? We need to get off this ship. Now. Now. Do what you need to do. Then we need to leave. I have to see with the force and my eyes. <laughs> no. We'll give you some peace to it. What did you see when you a looked man. at him? Nothing more. A man. You are my master now, and I will find. And let this ship die as it should have years ago on Malakor Five. And then giant lightning strike that hits Mandalore in the back for some reason. I don't know why. Candorus, are you all right? Get away from me. I don't need your help. Just leave me here. Candorus, the Force lies in all living things. <laughs> I have watched my people No die. choice. You will survive. You have no choice. You have been wounded before and lived, Mandalorian. Rise. Many battles do you still have left in you. You sound like Revan at the end. At the end. Do you know what he told me? In those last days on the Outer Rim. <laughs> that the Mandalorian Wars were our doom. And that we had been deceived. That it had never been our decision to wage war on the Republic. Revan said the Mandalorians didn't invade the Republic space ten years ago because it was our choice. We were tricked. Our entire people sacrificed as pawns. And never knew it. He said there was a war coming. That it was waiting out in the unknown regions, in the dark, waiting for us to destroy each other. Yeah. A war? This war? No, not this one. Another one. More terrible. Against an evil we couldn't begin to come. The true Sith. A war of belief that had been fought for thousands of years. Revan went off to fight it. And left you here. Revan was one of the greatest military leaders in the galaxy. In history, he knew what he was doing. And I always follow orders. 
Huh, sigh, the thought that Revan had to leave. Man, I mean, I know it makes for like a better story that he goes off to try and stop it himself. Read the book, Revan, to know exactly what happens. And then, well, obviously it doesn't work because there's the SWOTOR MMO, which is where this war that he's talking about, Mandalore just described, and that Revan went off the stop, actually occurs. Which, I, I think it's like a weirdly... I mean, I... I it's weird to consider that these aren't the true Sith, even though this is the second iteration that we've seen in like the past 10 years. I guess this is kind of the same ones that Revan and Malak led, but just scattered then reorganized, similar to the Mandalorians themselves at this point. Also, this war just kind of comes out of nowhere. This one against like all these Sith that just show up. Just always been weird to me. Leave the Ravager for good. Yep. Getting off of this garbage ship. And the Republic gotta be like, what the hell? Ship just spontaneously combusted. Oh, this is a really cool little bit of dialogue we get here. TSF running all over the place. I'm just casually walking the other way. Oh, look, it's the Republic. Admiral Onassi wanted to speak Admiral with Admiral Onassi. Lead on. Cardiff. It's a little beat up, but it's still home. I wasn't able to be here to protect it when the Sith attacked the first time. This time you gave me a second chance. I owe you. <laughs> Maybe next time you'll get here faster. Is that all you wanted, Admiral? I read your records. How the Jedi sentenced you for doing what you believed. You wandered past the Outer Rim during your exile. I ask you, did you find any trace of Revan? Did you know him? I served with him, like you did. <laughs> and we had to part ways, like you did. Why? He said that there were places where he had to walk where I could not go. Places where having allies, or anyone he cared about, would only place them in danger. It's been four years, and I still don't know what happened to him. Can't give up hope. He told me to stay here, to try to keep the Republic strong, and that he would return. It was the hardest request I ever had to follow. Why'd he ask that? I don't know, but it was important to him. He said that he believed something had been behind the Mandalorian Wars. That it hadn't been the Mandalorian's choice to attack the Republic. Whatever it was, I think he went off to find it. To fight it. Did you serve with them during it the war? near the end of the Jedi <laughs> Civil War, when it seemed like we were going to lose yeah. everything. We met on a Republic warship called the Endar Spire. It was being attacked over Terrace, and the Sith had stormed the ship. Insert the entirety of the first he season of the first war. game. But it was like the war didn't end for him. He would keep remembering things that he'd done, and it kept driving him. And I think he finally remembered something terrible that he'd done during the Mandalorian Wars, and he went to put an end to it. He left a lot of people who cared about him behind. But I think he did it because he thought it was the right thing to do. But whatever he set out to do, I I don't think he succeeded. And here you return, with his ship, without him. Revan's ship? Yeah, mouse is broken again. Yes, wherever he went, your ship's been there. If, if you return to that place, if you find some trace of Revan... Want me to tell him what I tell you? What? Blah, 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 blah. Do you want me to tell you what I find? No. No. Simply tell him that Admiral Onassi is following his orders. Admiral Onassi is following his orders. Guess we don't get to talk to. But who still shows up? Safe journey, exile. Best of luck. Did she? It's all back together. No, she didn't. There are times I fear we shall never know where he left Khan. Because we got Candrus, we got, well, not HK, he's down on the surface, or maybe he's back, I don't know. But we also got T3, everyone's here. It was important to him, and after meeting the Exile, I'm convinced that there are worse things to lose in the galaxy. Yeah, like the Force. Or, like, the Force. And I make a hyperspace jump, there's kind of a weird cut there, we don't get to see much.
And we get a scene on the Ebon Hawk. I don't remember this one. Yes, I. Maybe I do. When to lose their lives. Like I lost my family in Malachor 5. And all the Jedi who followed Revan. We get another scene of everyone Jedi talking through the Force. Died at Malachor 5. We go now, my master. To that dark place which made you. Where you gained your ship. Your troops. Your ship. My prison. That you dragged from the gravity well at Malachor 5. Wish I'd never met her. Wish I'd died there. That the storms had dragged me down into Malachor 5. We will not surrender. We will not die. Like we did on Malachor 5. On Malachor 5. Your command echoes still, General. And I obey. As I did at Malachor 5. Now Malachor 5 comes to us. And I wish to face it. This last time. You know where you must go. It calls to you still. It is the heartbeat. Of oh the my, post. Kreia. And she must be stopped. There, or Darth now. Treya, I should say. And she will bring the screams of Malico 5 to the galaxy, just as we carry the echo all this way. And here we are. Space above Malachor 5. And she must be stopped. There. Now. <laughs> Thanks, Beodir. Thanks for chiming in a second time. Look, it's Treya. Look, there's assassins. And a lot of them. And a whole bunch of them falling over. <laughs> okay, then. We don't know what she did, but she did something. Those pillars not being symmetrical it irks me. Some time. Hello, Scion. You were a fool to return. I spared you once. I will not do so again. Spare me? Oh, I will not yes. do so again. No, <clears throat> you simply did not learn the lesson I sought to teach. That your strength is as meaningless as the strength of my hand. Why have you returned? Because now I understand why the exile did what she did. There is much to be done. Much to be done. Because I was afraid. And here we fly into Malachor 5. And... Bad piloting. Bad piloting. Bad piloting. Don't fly a starship under the influence, kids. It's bad business. <laughs> We're back here again. Master, she is here. I know. What is thy bidding, my master? You are to do nothing. When she arrives, bring her before me. She may not survive Malachor. So touching. Can it be you still have feelings within that shell? Master, what will you do to her? You know what I shall do. You, who wear my teachings so well. I will break her. Break she is her. a blank slate upon which my teachings may be written, as you well know. <laughs> Leave me. Await the arrival of the exile. When she comes, bring her before me. Bring her before me. I will break her. How about no? Oh, come on, mouse. Anyways, we'll just turn around like this. Poor Evan Hawk. Look at it. It's, it's all broken. It's so sad. Poor thing's all beat up and broke. Poor guy. My poor ship. Anyway. 
anyways. <laughs> well, I guess we're not going back onto the Evan Hawk, so, uh... <laughs> I don't know why, like, how we got out and <laughs> we're alone here. Uh, what's the party button? Uh, I don't know. The mouse doesn't work. Anyways, we're going to end this episode here. Uh, next time we will explore Malachor and get ready to end this game. Probably two, three episodes left. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.